beginning, and I don't have any other, it's like just an instinctive thing. I'm beginning to think that the ruling from, uh, is it Arusha, uh, uh, Tanzania? Yeah. Mm, Arusha. Yeah, Arusha. Uh, might be of doubtful val validity. <laughs> I'm beginning to think so. Yeah. Because so of the, the narration he gave. Yeah, the, how, how was it communicated to us? Um, it was emailed. Really? I, I have to the I, court? No, no, it's it not to the court. Office, office, no. to and then attention. a motion filed to arrest the judgment. And on the basis annexed, of that? On the basis of And this annexed to the motion. Absolutely. I have my doubts. I think we need more clarification. Okay, you are suggesting that William may compromise all of those judges there in the, in, the, in the African court? Not at all. I have just given the bare facts as they are. But it's that's what the public to judge. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm yeah, giving he, the facts as they are. His, his submission reinforces mm. the, that instinctive uh, thing that I have. I think there's something missing. We need to double check with the court mm. how the processes were dealt with and what kind of ruling they gave. I mean, I, I'm a bit surprised that it had to take Woyomi and his people to... That's what they're ruling. We have all seen it. Yeah, mm. to communicate it. And what effect did they think it was going to have in, in the courts, you know? But as I'm saying, I'm relaxed about this Woyomi thing. It's been long, so it's frustrating, you know? But and there's a lot of anger out there mm. in terms of our failure to uh, conclude, bring this matter to a closure. And that's the only reason why I described it as a transient irritation. It's something <laughs> that he would not win. Even at that court, even in Arusha, he will lose. So I'm really thinking that we shouldn't unduly mm. you know, overwork ourselves as a nation and as a people. Time. We've wasted enough time already. So why can't we wait a little while to get this matter settled finally? Right within Ghana, we should continue to pursue the recovery efforts. That's what we should do. Mm. And I'm beginning to think that those who helped, those who facilitated this thing, perhaps we haven't taken a, a serious look at them. Those political appointees, the government functionaries, who allowed this thing to happen. It's about time. I'm not a lawyer. I don't understand how the legal processes will go. But unless I'm told, and convinced by law that it's a closure, even on those who play their role. We will see visible, tangible evidence that people who had, we had entrusted some responsibility to just failed to help the nation. Or refused. Or refused. <laughs> Are they OK? Does the law exclude any action? Is there a statute limitation? on what to do about those people. And we know who we are talking about. Mm. Some of them even got elevated, subsequent to the rules they played. One of them was made a first deputy speaker of parliament by our friends. Hmm. Are we leaving them alone? I think that we should take another look at that aspect. Well, it does well, appear that there's yeah. no liability for giving a legal advice, advice in that office. Yeah, yeah. So if you're pointing to the former deputy at 